Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to connect the MySQL database with SQLize in the Next.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first we have to install the SQLize and the MySQL tool, right? After that, we have to create a file, utilsqlize.js. Go to our code and here utils. So here we have already the structure followed, that's source, okay. Then we have an app, okay. Then we have a utils. Utils we have in the sqlize.js. So this is sqlize.js file, okay. So here we have an import sqlize from, from the sqlize. Then here we have to add the credentials for the host, username, password, database, dialect, dialect module, benchmark, okay. After that, we have to authenticate that the sqlize, after that, we are mentioning if the connection is successful or not. After that, we have to sync the models. Okay, I think one thing is left that is alter true. This will create the tables if they does not exist or update the existing one. So make sure you have to add the alter true. Okay, then you can now start using the models to interact with the database. Now you can start. Okay, after this export SQLize, then we have to go with the models, so then source, then we have a models, then user.js. Okay, so here we have the data types from the SQLize, from the util SQLize. Here we have to define the data type, username, email, first name, last name, okay, and other fields you can add. Here you can also define the associations if the user has relationships with the other models. For example, if user has many posts, so user.associate models, user dot has many models dot post. So that is a different criteria that you have a relationship or something that you can use it over here. Okay. Last that is pages.js. Okay. So here we have to interact. We have to call over here models. Okay. <coughs> here I'm going to create the users. Okay. So here we have I'm going to use Rajni Kant and here I'm going to use technical Rajni. Okay, so here I will add the any of the user. Okay, and uh, const user await users to find console.log all users, right? Creating and then fetch all that users. Okay, save this and go to our terminal. Now you can see alter table, everything is done. Let's go and check the data is created or not. You can see that the data is already created over here. Let's see. Okay, so here you can see that um, where it is. This is user one and coming back from here, here you can see connection has been established successfully. Okay, then it will go with creating the test DP insert into users with ID and this and this default time elapsed. Okay, let's go and check the DB. So here we have the Rajnikanth and technical Rajni with the user details are added over here. That means we have successfully connected to the MySQL with SQLize. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.